Hello and welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode, Charcuterie Chateau, the Gingerbread House of 2020, is brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Alice, and we're gonna be tossing around some ideas, and you've probably seen this all over social media. It's actually a, I have been practicing this word, all week. I just said it a minute ago. Okay. Work with meat you. house. Meat house. It's a meat house. No, but the charcuterie boards that you're seeing now are meats and cheeses and even some condiments and breads um, laid out on a board as either an appetizer or really can be made a meal. But you may have made a nice gingerbread house in the past. This is sort of taking the two of them together. Now we should tell one of the meetings of it is a country house. So we're going to be building this up and hopefully the finished product is going to be close to what I had imagined. Now, in order to do the walls, it was difficult to find just a flat thread, the thinner ones. So what I did was <clears throat> I got a long, two long pizza crusts. And I cut them in half, make sure your measurement is correct so you know exactly in half is. Don't just assume when you fold it over that it's not gonna break like it may have some place here. And then um, what's gonna act as the glue for this bread to keep it together is actually some cream cheese. Now this has been at room temperature for a while now, um, but it's still going to be uh, very thick and even though I've taken the Ziploc poked the hole it's not going to be that easy to simply get it right on it as if you were doing frosting so what I figured out is that if I just take it directly onto the knife and place it so that you're actually taking it and smearing it now if you notice this part is up front these two come to the back. So we're actually going to be taking it and using that glue, shall we call it, right on it and smearing it up. So that glue will then keep it together. Now that's fine and you wanna take a little bit of it and make sure you get a little cleaner edge and you can clean that up later. If you're concerned about this holding, and you should be. Um, you can simply take toothpicks. Now, if you're gonna take toothpicks, you're gonna put them into the same spots on each quarter, so you remember that they're there. What you can simply do is to simply, if you're gonna use it to take, put it in, let's call it, you know, up here, then the second one right in the middle, going through, and then the third can just simply be on the bottom. Now, if you wanna give it a little bit to cover that, what I did was was getting one of these uh, little breadsticks and measuring so that you have a little bit of space like this. If you simply cut it, and the cutting is best with, they do call it a bread knife, but give it a little like that. That's lovely, look how nice that went. And then the same thing with your, actually he's going for the breadstick, he's going for the breadstick. And it is a garlic breadstick, so maybe, you know, six feet apart is not a bad thing. So by simply taking this, putting it down, smearing it all the way down like this, that's going to be able to then put on that. You've got that. I'm going to finish the sides and then we'll be right back. The thing to remember is that just like a real house, the walls are never going to be exactly straight, um, things like that. And so don't worry about that. It's not like you're paying a mortgage on this. It's gonna be eaten quickly after that. Um, the one big thing was how to make a roof. I've watched a lot of videos and they've had to use some support in many of them. Some people put wood underneath. Telling you honestly, we use cardboard. We're not saying eat the cardboard, but we're saying that's the only way that it's gonna stay up. So cardboard was bent in half. And I was able to find these crackers 
and by simply giving a smear of the cream cheese we're going to start from the bottom these actually layer very well they press in firmly and basically what the same thing that I had done with um, a couple of the other things the breadsticks by just doing it a little bit like this and it should very nice okay just fit like this and then you can just adjust that. The good thing about this is we're going to cover that because when we did say we're going to talk about um, a lot of meat on this is that's where the pepperoni is going to go. So by laying it down like this and just bending this up, when this bends like this, we can put some of these sticks over there. We can cover with a lot of different things. Basically, a lot of this is going to be camouflage people. So on to our next step. So on the roof with these crackers, it added the pepperoni. I tried one piece of the pepperoni. I haven't had pepperoni that wasn't on a piece of pizza in a long time. That's really spicy. Other people may disagree. I thought it was spicy to each his own. Um, hindsight, I would have used the actually the soft cream cheese because it is easier to spread. It would have gone um, the application would have gone better. Um, so the provolone's on top of that. That's gonna cover where the peak comes, which could never be perfect. So it's gonna cover with a little bit of cream cheese, some mozzarella, give it that look of a, at least we tried, of snowfall. In where the gables are, that's just a piece of, what is it? Tortilla? Tortilla, that's a piece of tortilla. All right, now. What we're going to do is get all the accessories off. The last thing that's going to go was on the roof because fingers crossed. Not sure if it's going to stay, but at least you'll get to see everything else and decide accordingly. What I've done is a couple dollops of cream cheese so that the little um, attachments can go on, the little uh, gardening can go on, such as if we wanted to just have some uh, bushes around the side, some pieces of broccoli, that can easily just fit in like that. That looks really nice. A um, couple of pieces then on this side. And what we're also going to do, we're going to move this back. Give back the cream cheese. Thank you. Okay, because we're going to put a tree there. The tree is just going to be some sprigs of fresh, ro fresh rosemary. Two pieces of actually sort of like a beef jerky. And this is gonna go around it. And they said to use a green rubber band. I could not find a green rubber band. Life's gonna go on. So that that's gonna go like this. You can figure out other ways if you'd like to do it. That's supposed to, that was supposed to go together. There goes the whole tree, but we still have one in here. So let's just place it like this. And there's the tree. And for little planters, here's just some mushroom, little cream cheese inside. Some uh, rest of the actual rosemary can just be put in like that. Little piece here, little piece there, a little additional ones. And that can also make a nice piece off the side. Let's put it on this side, even off to even away from it, because we got a little bit going on here, a little bit going on there. This again with the um, extra beef jerky. If we wanted to make around the side, like a little fence that's separating the front yard from the backyard, we could certainly do this. And for um, actually the fact that. Uh, the secure, uh, everything that's going to go on here is made to be have as a platter of appetizers so that if you had these left over, these would then go around the side. You could also make it look like a walkway going through here. It could also be like a pile of, let's say, for a chimney. These are the wooden logs that could be stacked up in front like that. These, the snowmen, are actually fresh little balls of mozzarella. 
because yes, I actually did go to um, specialty store and say, can I have just six of the mini mozzarella balls? Didn't bat an eye. So that's some things. Now these, you'd all know these pretzels, little cream cheese on that side, almost makes it look like the curtains are right there. And they'll go, fingers crossed, on this side, this side, and just pressing from the back. Hopefully they'll stay on. And then the rest of them, you can simply do for the other sides too. The small issue with this kind of bread is that it is a little bumpy. Um, but look at that, there's the window. Get that window replaced. And crackers. The charcuterie you're gonna want, again, crackers. This can be your pathway. It's also something for the nosh. It can be alongside of the house, just more of the walkway going around and going back to that. You can put jams and jellies in the back for people to help themselves on that. You can, here is the door, slice of cheese, little uh, piece of caper for the front door knob. We're gonna have to move one of those. that. So let's bring this over here. This way it's close to the door so they can see who is at the door. Did not make a bell, but just pretend. And then I had originally had the parchment paper around just for the um, ease of when I was, was doing things. Uh, but what can be done at this point is that um, I cut it closer. Not to be it. And we can put down some fresh snow, this way somebody should shovel that. Someone's got to get to that. I'm busy. You're busy. Okay, this way, the poor little snowman. And then with the peppers, it's really the end of the pepper, then the next pepper. This way, look, if it's like that, it looks like a baseball cap. Goes like this. It's a little more um, festive that way. So we've got a lot of the snow falling down on everything, covering everything, when in doubt, sprinkle some mozzarella so that this way they'll cover. If you wanted to do some of the cranberries, you could take the cream cheese, bring it across and make strands so it looks like uh, Christmas lights. You can put the cranberries to the side. This could be like little stones going up the walkway. This also highlights it more because we got a lot of just um, beige on white. But this way, bringing that in like that gives it a little bit of color. A bit difficult to open that door. Um, so this is where we are. The next thing, which is really going to be. An important part to it, and this is not it, but this is just want to get that out like that. You can you know, work on it afterwards. Um, I'm just going to move this, dust that off a bit. Okay, here's the roof. We don't know how this is going to go. I may have to stand behind it just to get a picture. This is going to the front. Rich tried it with uh, another piece of meat. Didn't work quite as well as the tortilla did. You gonna fly solo? I'm gonna fly solo. So they have no one to blame but myself. Yeah, oh. sure. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Three, 
too. The next time I come up with something like this, just say, remember the charcuterie? <laughs> remember how well that went? Okay. Am I... You're too, Am wide. I... Oh, too, too wide. Too wide? Too wide. Too wide? Put you closer together. Closer together. Um, on your side, I think. Hold on. Well, that cardboard went flying. The cardboard went flying. The thing that was supposed to support it messed it up. Well, live and learn, people. Let this be a lesson to everybody. See, you can already dig into this. We're losing pieces. Fix your wall here. Fix the wall. Fix the back wall. Lovely. This one's going down to, you may want to not do these because it's not really, it doesn't seem to work well. This gets in the way. Okay, how does it look from the front? It looks awesome. You're just saying that, stop it. Remember the charcuterie? Remember the charcuterie? Like, remember, this way, this could be the catchphrase from now on. Remember the charcuterie? All right. Okay. I, whoop. All right, I think we did a really good idea considering we were just figuring out how to do the roof maybe a half hour ago, okay? So, it does take a little patience. It does take time. Have somebody help you this way. You can both or more than that many people um, be able to do this in less time. But we had fun. We can at least say 2020, the year of the charcuterie. All right, so hope to see you soon.